to be or not to be? That is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune or to take arms against the sea of troubles and by opposing and them to die, to sleep no more and by sleep to say we end the heart ache and a thousand nature shocks that flesh is there too his consummation devoutly to be wished to die to sleep to sleep perchance to dream I there's the rub for in that sleep of death what dreams may come when we have shuffled off this mortal coil must give us pause there's the respect that makes calamity with so long life for who would bear the whips and scones of time the oppressor's wrong the proud man's contumely the pangs of despised love the law's delay the insolence of office and the spurn that patient merit of the unworthy taste who would a father's bear to grunt and a sweat under a weary life when he himself might his quietus make with a bare bodkin? But that the dread of something after death, the undiscovered country from whose poor no traveller returns, puzzles the will and makes us rather bear those ills we have then fly to others we know not of thus conscience does make cowards of us all and thus the native hue of resolution is sickened over with the paid cast of a thought and enterprises of great pith and moment with this regard their current turn awry and lose the name of action. <laughs>